Hey everyone, I'm Liz Peterson, and today I want to show you how you can fully automate your proposals or contracts using Pandadoc syncing with Pipedrive. So let's dive in. First, I'm going to show you how this automation can work, and then I'm going to show you how you can actually program this in Zapier. So first, I'm going to go ahead and move the deal into creating proposal, and I'm going to mark this activity as done. And what I've done here is I've programmed an automation that is going to create the Pandadoc from a template. It's going to send automatically to the person connected to the deal, and it's going to include information from the organization as well. Once the Panda doc has been created and sent, these fields are going to automatically update and the deal stage is automatically going to update to proposal sent. So this can take a couple of minutes to run just depending on the Zapier plan level that you're on. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and turn it back on once the automation has processed. So the first automation has run and you can see these fields have been updated. If I go to the change log here, you can see that this did happen via automation and the deal stage has been changed to proposal sent. So now if I go to my inbox here, I have this email from PandaDoc and here I can click to open. And now the status of this document is actually viewed. So I programmed another automation that's going to update the proposal status here to viewed so that again, you can know, has it been sent and not yet opened? Has it been viewed and not yet signed? So on and so forth. So we'll see that update here in just a moment. So that automation has now run, the proposal status has updated. And then if the person goes to actually sign the agreement, and they complete those fields and click finish, then additional automations will run. One thing I'll call out here is this is a template I created in PandaDoc and I pulled in fields from PipeDrive. So this is the organization address. This is the person's name and title as it appears in PipeDrive. And there are lots of other fields that you can pull in. Any field that exists in PipeDrive, you can pull in. So you can have a really dynamic document, even if you're sending it in a fully automated way. So I'm gonna go ahead and click finish here and show you the final automations. So you can see that the proposal status is now complete. We have the one time and the deal status has been updated to one. And I created an activity to onboard the new client since now we have that contract signed and they're ready to start as a client. Additionally, this is based on PandaDoc settings, but I have an email that the document has been completed. So that gets sent out to myself as the PandaDoc kind of owner, and then also to the individual that completed it for their records. And then one last thing here I forgot on PipeDrive is also the file was added to PipeDrive. So as a user in PipeDrive, all you have to do is update the deal stage to creating proposal. The proposal or contract gets sent as the status changes, it updates and then there's an activity created and a the final signed PDF attached to the deal once it has been completed so that you can then onboard the client. So let me show you how you build that in Zapier. I have three automations that I built and with all of this, there's tons of variations and kind of small and large differences you can do. One thing that I do often is instead of fully automating the PandaDoc send, we'll create the document and then create an activity for an individual to go and send the document. So if there are any small changes that need to be made, they can do that before actually sending it off. So there's a, a human eye on the contract before it sends. But in this case, we did that fully automated. So the first step is deal matches a filter. And this filter here was just this filter. You can do this again, a varying complexity, but I kept it pretty simple. So if I go here, this is my filter. The deal status is open in this stage and then that the person email contains at. If there's not an, a valid email address in the person's email, then the document can't. So that's just one simple catch you can always add into the filter. So that is when this triggers. And then what we do is we find the person and find the organization. And here in these steps, I'll just show you, this is the one kind of of most common difficulty. 
with Zapier is you're going to be using information from step one. So step one gives us this deal information. So the deal ID among lots of other things. And then in all the other steps, you're typically going to be using IDs from that initial trigger step. So here in the find person step, we're using the person ID from step one. And then here in the find organization step, we are using the organization ID from step one. And then then here in the create panda doc step, what we are doing is we are creating a document from a template. So this is the template that I had set up in PandaDoc. You can name the document whatever you would like. So we are using the deal title and then Ops Designed MSA. And then send document, you can do that automatically. So yes, send it or no, and then it's just created for you and you can you know, use that created document to make some edits and then send it off manually. And then you're going to always have to have an email for the ultimate signer. So that's the client email and then any other information that you might need token wise. So for this one, we had tokens and I'll show you the PandaDoc here template. Let me pull that up quickly. So here is that PandaDoc template. And so we have a few different fields. We have the org name and org address. And then down here, we have the org name again, the person name, person title, and then the org address information. So those are the fields that we've completed the tokens for this PandaDoc. And this is again, pulling from information in the previous steps. We had to find the person and find the organization to get that underlying data. So that's the data that we have here. And then the person name as well. And then we would continue. And then the final step here is the update deal step. So we pull the deal ID from step one. That's the pipe drive deal that we want to update. And then the fields that we're updating are the PandaDoc proposal ID. We use that as a search term in subsequent automations. And then the proposal sent date is something that I chose to store as well. So we update that to today. So that is your first automation. That's what happens when the deal enters this creating proposal stage. Then your second automation here, this is going to just update the pipe drive deal when the status changes. And we just selected to use one status here and on a single template. So your trigger is when the PandaDoc document status changes. And here we're using a template and just a specific template. So the PandaDoc demo template and only when the status changes to viewed. Then we're going to find the record using Mm -hmm. this step here using the PandaDoc proposal ID. So we have the ID from step one of what that, that specific newly created document. So not the template ID, but the document ID. So we have that ID. That is something we stored in Pipedrive in our first automation. So we're going to find the deal using this ID. And then we are going to continue if the deal exists. So if something is found, this is just in case, you know, for whatever reason, something isn't found, lots of different things that could be going on there. And then we're going to update the deal. So we update the deal from step two, the deal that we found. And all we are doing here is updating the Panda doc. excuse me, it's sitting right there in front of me, <laughs> the proposal status. So it wasn't PandaDoc, it's the proposal stat status field that we are updating to viewed. And that's it. That's the only field that we're updating in this step. And then this is that, that second automation. So updating the field to viewed once the PandaDoc has been viewed. Then the final automation here is updating Pipedrive when that contract is completed. So same, same trigger of sorts. The only difference here is that it's the document status is completed. That's when we want this one to run. Then we're going to find the deal and continue in the same way as for that second automation. And then here we are updating the deal again, super similar in terms of what we're doing. The deal that was found in step two, we're going to update update the proposal status. And then we are also going to update, there's a couple of statuses here. 
So the deal status is going to update to one and then the proposal status is going to be complete. If we wanted to have a date field here as well, we could update that so that we have the completed date. But in this case, I didn't do it because the best proxy is the deal is one when the contract is signed. So we don't really need another date field. Then here we're going to attach the PDF. So this is the file that we're attaching. This is the name, same as the document name itself. And then we're attaching it to the deal again the deal that we found in step two that matched the PandaDoc ID. And then here is the final step just to create an activity so that the next step can happen. So this could be a variety of activities or you may not need it at all, but this is that final step there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I have a couple of links down there. If you're just getting started with Pipedrive or PandaDoc and use those links, they are affiliate links, which helps me create more and more content like this for free. Thanks.